Hi friends. Today we have an exciting recipe for you. Chocolate brownie. Just what you all need. Ingredients. 2 cups of maida that is all purpose flour. 100 grams of dark chocolate. 1 teaspoon baking powder. 2 eggs Oil for greasing Half cup peeled walnuts 1 teaspoon vanilla essence And a cup of caster sugar Method Preheat oven to 356F that is 180 degrees Celsius. Grease an 8 square cake tin with some oil. Sift flour and baking powder. Combine chocolate and butter in a large microwave bowl. And soften uncovered in the microwave for a minute and melt it in a double boiler. Beat in sugar, eggs and vanilla essence and blend well. Add sifted flour nuts and fold it together. Pour the mixture into the prepared cake tin and bake in the preheated oven for 45 minutes. Place on a wire rack to cool. Cut into squares. Add chocolate sauce or your choice of toppings like fruits, dry nuts or chocolate shavings and serve hot. Enjoy this yummy recipe. Bye. Happy cooking. Hey. I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe from Gary's Kitchen. Hi friends! Today we have an exciting recipe for you. Chocolate Clusters just what you all need. Ingredients 150 grams chopped bitter chocolate 3 tablespoon puffed rice 2 tablespoon chopped assorted nuts Few raisins And grated rind of orange Method Roast the puffed rice in a moderate oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 to 15 minutes or until golden in color and crisp. Leave it to cool. Repeat the same process with the nuts. Combine the nuts, rice and raisins together. Melt the chocolate over a pan of steaming water in a heat proof bowl. Stir in the rice, nuts, raisins and rind. Drop rough heaps of the chocolate mixture onto a lightly oiled tray. 
leave in a cool place to set before removing from the tray. Store in an airtight tin. Enjoy this yummy recipe. Bye. Happy cooking. Hey, I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe from Gary's Kitchen. Hi friends, today we have an exciting recipe for you. Chocolate ice cream. Just what you all need. Ingredients 2 and half cups milk 1 tablespoon custard powder 2 tablespoon cocoa powder 1 cup sugar 1 tablespoon vanilla essence 1 and half cups cream and cherries or nuts for garnish Method Mix the custard, cocoa and sugar in half a cup of the milk Heat the rest of the milk and when it comes to a boil, add the custard mixture and bring to a boil again, stirring continuously. When it boils, lower the heat and simmer for a half a minute. Shut off the heat and leave to cool. Then, mix in the cream and vanilla essence and transfer on to a container with a tight lid. Freeze till almost set. Take out and whip up in a blender and place back into the freezer in the same container. Blend once more when almost set and place back in the freezer. Serve garnished with the cherries or nuts. Enjoy this yummy recipe. Bye. Happy cooking. Hey, I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe from Gary's Kitchen. Hi friends, today we have an exciting recipe for you. Chocolate mousse. Just what you all need. Ingredients 180 gram milk chocolate 3 separated eggs 1 tablespoon butter Chocolate curls for garnish and 4 bowls or cups to set the mousse. Method Break the chocolate into smaller pieces. Melt the chocolate and butter by placing in a bigger bowl with hot water and stir constantly. When melted and smooth, remove from heat and beat in the egg yolks. Whisk egg white stiff and fold into the chocolate mixture. Pour into the cup and refrigerate to set. Garnish with the chocolate curls and serve. Enjoy this yummy 
recipe. Bye. Happy cooking. Hey, I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe from Gary's Kitchen. Hi friends. Today we have an exciting recipe for you. Yummy and creamy mashed potatoes. Six to seven potatoes. Half teaspoon of salt. Four tablespoon of heavy cream. Two tablespoon butter. One tablespoon milk and salt and pepper for seasoning. Method: Put potatoes in a saucepan. Add half teaspoon salt. Add water until potatoes are covered. Bring to boil. Reduce heat and simmer covered 15 to 20 minutes or until done. Drain water from potatoes. Combine cream and butter together either in a microwave or in a pan on the stove. Put hot potatoes into a bowl. Add the cream and melted butter. Use a potato masher to mash the potatoes nicely. Use a long spoon to beat further, adding milk to achieve consistency. Be careful not to beat it too much or your potatoes will get gluey. Add salt and pepper as you like. Enjoy this yummy recipe. Bye. Happy cooking. Hey, I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe from Gary's Kitchen. Hi friends, today we have an exciting recipe for you. Enchiladas Just what you all need. Ingredients 2 tortillas 4 tablespoon butter 1.5 cups cooked beans 2 tablespoon chopped onion, half cup grated cheddar cheese, 3 fourth cup sliced ripe olives, and tomato sauce. Method Brush the tortillas with melted butter on both sides. In center of each tortilla, pile cooked beans, sliced ripe olives, chopped onion and shredded cheese. Roll up and place filled tortilla side by side in a buttered baking tray. Pour the sauce over the rolls. Sprinkle chopped onion and shredded cheese. Bake at 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Serve enchiladas hot. Enjoy this yummy recipe. 
Bye. Happy cooking. Hey, I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe from Carrie's Kitchen. Hi friends. Today we have an exciting recipe for you. Fresh and healthy lemonade. Just what you all need. Ingredients: one cup sugar, one liter of water, and four to six lemons. Method. Heat 1 cup of water with 1 cup of sugar in a small saucepan and bring it to boil. Now squeeze 4 to 6 lemons in a bowl. Add the lemon extract and sugar syrup into a jar or a pitcher. Now add 3 to 4 cups of water to this and refrigerate it for about 20 minutes. Serve chilled. Enjoy this yummy recipe. Bye. Happy cooking. Hey. I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe from Carrie's Kitchen. Hi friends. Today we have an exciting recipe for you. Fruit custard. Just what you all need. Ingredients 2 tablespoon custard powder 2 cups milk 3 tablespoon sugar 1 and a half cups freshly cut fruits and 2 tablespoon cream Method In a small bowl, mix custard powder with half cup milk. In a pan, add remaining milk, sugar, cream and the bowl contents. Bring to boil. Cool and pour the custard into a bowl. Decorate with freshly cut fruits and serve chilled. Enjoy this yummy recipe. Bye. Happy cooking. Hey, I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe from Carrie's Kitchen. Hi friends, today we have an exciting recipe for you. Fruit Trifle Just what you all need. Ingredients 1 cup jelly 1 cup custard 6 Bourbon Biscuits Sponge Cake And a cup of fruit pieces Method In a flat bowl, 
Layer the sponge cake with custard, then bourbon biscuits, stewed fruits, and finally the jelly. Repeat these layers to fill the bowl. Keep it in the refrigerator for some time to set. Enjoy this yummy recipe. Bye. Happy cooking. Hey, I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe from Gary's Kitchen. Hi friends, today we have an exciting recipe for you. Fruit Yogurt Just what you all need. Ingredients 500 ml of lukewarm milk 1 cup mango or strawberry pulp 2 spoons of yogurt culture Half cup of sugar and 50 grams of chopped dry fruits. Method Wash the fruits, peel them, chop them into small bits and big chunks. Add the fruit pulp, fruit bits, fruit chunks and chopped dry fruits to the lukewarm milk. Add 2 spoons of the yogurt culture. Stir well. Cover and incubate at a warm place. Keep undisturbed for at least 6 to 8 hours. Top the set yogurt with fruits and dry fruits. Chill and serve cool. Enjoy this yummy recipe. Bye. Happy cooking. Hey, I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe from Gary's Kitchen.